All right, drone video tracked eight at the Devil's Backbone. We're actually over the National Forest, looking north at the easement road. Truck is parked at the property. Uh, so this track borders the, the uh, easement road and the National Forest on its south side, goes north for about a quarter mile, and then borders the National Forest on its north side. So pretty uh, spectacular property. Topo map shows that most of this tract is actually fairly level, which is unusual. Uh, this probably has more level area than, than just about any other tract out at the Devil's Backbone. Uh, the road frontage itself um, is, is one of the sloped areas. So uh, at the southeast corner, a little bit to the, to the right or the east of where the truck was parked, would probably be about the best place if you wanted to uh, put in a driveway. Uh, but then once you get back into the property, it, it levels out really nicely. Uh, most of the middle um, is, is just pretty darn level according to the topo map. So we're slowly going northerly. That looks like some kind of trail across the property. I mean, the, you'll find a, a ton of old deer trails and, and whatnot out here. That might be a good spot for a, a potential uh, site or a clearing. Since there isn't a driveway or site on this property, I mean, you just have a lot of options um, on this property more than most because it does have so much usable level area looking northerly. I think we're going to do a full flyover um, and end up with the National Forest on the north side. There's another natural opening. So really clearing a driveway and a site, uh, depending on, on you know how far you want to go with it, uh, is not as big a project as some people think it is, uh, especially if you've used a chainsaw before or, or a small piece of equipment. Really handy to have either a tractor or uh, a skid loader to help you when you're doing that, but it's just not necessary. On many occasions, we've cleared uh, long driveways and sites uh, in less than a day with, with just a couple couple people with chainsaws. So still going northerly. You can see the topo map um, to see how this property lays. You'll see that on the listing page. And now we're getting toward the north side. We're, we're actually at the north side. So that, that line you see running east and west, I guess, uh, that's a, a cleared line across the north side of the property. And just beyond that line is the National Forest. So that, that line on the north side is not uh, an easement road. It's just uh, that the north side of the, the tract had been cleared for the boundary at some point. So now we're looking north into the Mark Twain National Forest. The section that borders the property on the north side uh, has tens of thousands of contiguous acres of of uh, National Forest land, which is public land, so uh, hunting, camping, recreation. Now looking westerly, property on the left, National Forest on the right. Um, but I mean, you could spend lifetimes exploring that section of National Forest and just not see it all. Looking southerly now over the property, and then way off in the distance, you've got the National Forest again. So the section of the National Forest that borders the, the road on the south side of the property is only about 400 acres. I guess we say only because compared to tens of thousands, um, that's much less land, but actually just 400 acres of public land is a lot of, of uh, additional hunting as well. So now we're kind of facing into the sun. This was probably shot later in the day. Uh, so as we go southerly, we're facing into the sun, which makes all the trees shadowy and dark. There's potential, potential uh, natural clearing on the property. Beautiful, beautiful track. So much potential on this one. Obviously, the deer hunting and the turkey hunting out here is phenomenal. You, of course, can hunt on your own private property, but you can also hunt um, in the Mark Twain National Forest. So you, you've really got it made when you have a property that directly borders the National Forest. You've really got the best of both worlds. You've got privacy and you've got access into uh, uh, all that public land as well. Looking east, truck parked on the easement road, property on the left, National Forest on the right, now that we're at the south side of the property. So we'll have some type of ground video as well, um, which probably just shows a little bit of the south side of the property since this doesn't have um, a, a driveway or a site on it. But again, looking at the topo map, uh, other than this, this very southern portion, specifically the southwest portion at the easement road, uh, other than that and what um, what appeared to be 
a sloped area toward the middle and, and the north side, uh, this property is mostly level. So you've got the option for uh, potentially the, the nicest, largest cleared site at the Devil's Backbone if you've got Tract 8. Really, really cool property. Uh, this video was taken before the easement road was completed, so it'll look a little different when you're out there. They, they will have graded it, probably get some, gotten some gravel on it, and it may have a, a ditch on each side. 7.61 acres, surveyed with the corners marked, direct National Forest frontage, uh, close to West Plains, Missouri. Unbelievable property. If you have any questions, just let us know.